Are there any questions or corrections? Dean? On um, the governor's budget, I, I think the increase was 450000 above our expectation, not 450000 I'm sorry, much more? I think the, it says release $450,000 increase in local aid for Arlington. I think it was four fifty dollars above what we thought it was going to be. I think the number was like $70,000. Hey, Dean, what, what are you talking about? I couldn't get in and So you wrote, four, you wrote release. What, what's, what, which is Of the governor's case? budget? You wrote $450,000 increase in local aid for Arlington. I think it's $450,000 increase above what we expected. Yeah. We're above expected or something. Yeah, like governor's budget. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> above what was expected. Okay. Okay, good. Anybody else? What, what's the difference? <coughs> I think the amount was like seven something. Seven, seven hundred. How much was it? Seven seventy. Yeah, it was seven seventy. What's the amount? The you increase. Could, we could change it to seven seventy. That would be the easier way to do it. Uh Oh, I see. Above what was expected. I'm with you now. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. It's kind of slow. Uh, higher than projected. Or you can combine it with the next line. I'll leave it up to you to decide how to do that. So you've got the next line higher than projected the manager's budget. You could sort of combine those into two or into one. Line, that's all. You could say 450 increase in local aid for Arlington over uh, then projected in the manager's budget. Oh, okay. Okay, other corrections? Okay, I've got a couple of things. Under master plan, yeah. one, two, fourth line from the bottom. Members express skepticism about this kind of change, meaning zoning bylaws. I, I, I don't remember that. Anybody other? I don't remember any particular skepticism over zoning bylaw changes. I would just sort of delete that. Was anybody? Uh, Thomas made quite a speech about yeah. the, the, the problems with the current zoning. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I, let me. I think the uh, the skepticism was about the special permitting process. Mm. The current. The current special permitting current. The current, the current, the current, <laughs> current, <laughs> current <laughs> process you need to go through. That. That's right. So you need to go okay, so the, the skepticism was about the current process. Right. Current right. process. Good enough. Okay. Thank you. Uh, under budget controller. <laughs> Uh, recommend the budget is printed. She explained that the stipend for the controller, it was not for the controller, it was the stipend for another individual in the office that just happens to go by the mail room or something. Right. Some so she explained that the stipend for one individual in the controller's of, office. A member of staff. A staff member. Yeah. There wasn't a controller yeah, stipend. I think that's what it says in the budget book, but I'll change it. Mm -hmm. okay. There's a different yeah, no. stipend. There's, a, a different there's two stipends. stipends. One was for the controller, but that's for Munis. That's for Munis. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <coughs> and this one is for? $525. Yeah. And that's to pick up the mail. Yeah. So a controller staff member or something like that. Yeah. Important. Yeah. We get that one word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK. Yeah. And then under budget retirement, the increase was yeah. decreased from 6% to 5.51%. I just sort of add right after that in accordance with the negotiated agreement. In other words, we didn't, as a committee, didn't decrease the retirement budget. Yeah, that was The recommendation was, uh, was decreased in accordance with the negotiated agreement. Okay. And I just have a question on, on the next page, at the end of OPEP and at the end of uh, Snow and Ice, you've got votes there with comments. Don't you usually put dashes? 
I'll change that. You got two over there. Yeah. Okay, does anybody else? <coughs> Again, make sure your attendance is correct. The salary depends on it. <laughs> okay, uh, do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Okay, moved and seconded uh, to accept the uh, minutes as corrected. Any other discussion or correction? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Now, what I'd like to do is go through the uh, warrant uh, and just see if there's any other articles that we could vote on. So I could get this. Okay, so on the early part of the warrant, Article 6, 13, 14, and 16, we're going to hear from the manager on Wednesday on his thoughts on those articles. Article 17 is acceptance of local option taxes. And this is the same thing that's put it every year. Now, the primary recommendation is the Board of Selectmen. But it, since it's inserted in our request, what we've usually done in Article uh, 17 is voted no report at this time. And then the comment I usually put, because there is no legislation active in this area that could be accepted at this time, the Finance Committee voted to not make a recommendation at this time in this article. If an op opportunity occurs that we can take advantage of, a recommendation will be made. If not, we will change our recommendation to no action. So, so move. second. Okay. okay. Any, so this is sort of a perhaps if something happens. I don't expect it, but if something happens. Okay, motion is made and seconded for no report at this time. With that comment, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Unanimous. Okay, collective bargaining we're going to hear about from the town manager if there's anything. Article 21 we voted on. 22 we're voting. Um, 23, we had tabled this. This was the $50,000 for the uh, assessor's recommendation. Um, and I think we wanted to find the balance that was left. And I think somebody came up, I just can't remember who, with 11642 Yeah, Ruth emailed it to me. Okay. Uh, so we know the balance left. Uh, Charlie? Yeah, I, I, I recommend, I, I move that we vote the $50,000 because uh, <clears throat> they normally have somewhere between ten dollars and $15,000 going over from year to year to handle <clears throat> um, you know, variations in the cost of ongoing rebounds. So I would say just let it sit there and vote the $50,000. Okay. Uh, okay, so motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. Okay, is there any questions or discussion? Okay, all those in favor of $50,000 under Article 23 for the revaluation, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Unanimous. Uh, capital budget we will hear next Monday. Um, Charlie, are you also re making recommendations on 25 under the Cindy? I don't think there are any. Okay, so we might as well vote on it. Well, I would wait until after the temporal presentation. Okay, so you'll make recommendations on both of those <laughs> next Monday. Okay. Uh, I don't see Grant here. So uh, we'll wait for 26 and 27 for his recommendation. Uh, 28, we've uh, voted on. 29, committees and commissions, we voted on. 30, celebrations, we voted on. 31 miscellaneous we voted on. Okay, uh, 32 is uh, public art. We'll hear from the manager. And my thought is when we hear from the manager, <coughs> I'll lay it out if everybody's satisfied with it. We'll just go ahead and vote, you know, uh, you know, right there and then move on to the next so we can get through those. Okay, uh, 33, we wanted to hear from the manager. That's the civil, the uh, human rights 
34 we voted on last time, 40,000 for water bodies. Uh, 35 we voted on, 7,500 for Harry Barber. Uh, the scenic byway we voted on, 5,000. The accidental disability, that's 37. Oh, uh, that's the, that's the, the zero in case somebody falls below the 50%. Charlie, you want to make a recommendation? I move we support it. Okay, second? Second. Okay, again, this is the article for, uh, actually for the new people. Uh, they have a policy that if, you, if you're retiring, you've got to have at least 25 <coughs> years in. Um, if, let's say you make 50000 now, but over a period of years, because you're not getting a cost of living on the entire 50000 you're only getting a cost of living on the 15, I think now. You're only getting on 15. So if the people in your job now are getting, you know, 3% of their whole salary, and you're only getting 3% on your first 15, gradually you're going to keep going down and down and down. Let's say after, I don't know, pick a number, 20 years, you're going to start getting to 50% of what somebody in your position is making. And what this would do is hold you so you don't get lower than 50% of what somebody in that position would be making. Uh, and uh, that's what it's all about. Okay, so motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion or any questions? Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Abstain, please. Abstain. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so that's 15, 0, and 1, on 3, 9. Okay. The vote, favorable action. Favorable action, 15 in favor, zero against, and one abstain. Uh, 38, we passed last time. Um, <coughs> 39, we passed because that's no action. <coughs> I'll write up a comment on that. Now, long-term stabilization fund, uh, we've been voting $100,000 on that every year for a bunch of years. Now, next year when we approach this, uh, I think one of the original targets was getting to $3 million. So maybe next year when we are now over $3 million, we'll want to discuss it a little bit and see if we want to continue to go or not. Uh, but this year, this will put us up to the $3 million. So, uh, this Committee wish to proceed. Both the hundred thousand. No, I move we vote for Okay, is there a second? Second. Second. Okay, so motion's been made and seconded for a hundred thousand into the long-term stabilization fund. Paul. And just a question: When was the last time we took money out of this? I can tell you. <coughs> it was about uh, six years ago, and, and there was um, there was some flooding or something like that in the. In the uh, oh, that's right. The up the damage, you know, yeah, well, some one of the buildings okay. yeah, that was below the deductible. So we did that. <coughs> okay. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, motion's been made and seconded <coughs> for hundred thousand dollars. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Unanimous. Uh, three, nine, fifteen. Now the overlay reserve. Charlie, have you talked to the assessors at all yeah, yet? Yeah, we had the meeting yet. Yeah. Okay. One of the uh, questions is uh, uh, the manager told me that he they had sent a letter asking the Board of Assessors to actually vote on amount. Um, so if you could raise that when you when you talk to them and say if this 200 is okay or whatever. Okay, so we'll leave that on the table for now. Transfer of funds, cemetery... Why don't we wait until the capital budget's done next Monday and then we could vote that and uh, we'll know what the amount for public works is at the same time so we could do that then. Now, uh, free cash, our policy for the last, I don't know, 30 years, has voted uh, to vote half the free cash into the budgets and half the free cash to roll until next year. That half amount is 3435000 
eight hundred and forty six dollars. We don't vote we don't put it in individual budgets. We tell the assessors to use it uh, against the tax rate, but the basic is the same. So three million four three five eight four six. So that's one half? That's half. And then the other half just rolls into next year. Or it actually, it'll roll into fiscal 17. And then uh, recalculate it, we go from there. So moved. Okay, moved. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Okay. So moved and seconded for 3435846 uh, with an instruction to the Board of Assessors to use it in setting the tax rate. Uh, some towns go through and they actually put in you know, a piece here and a piece there and a piece there. <coughs> we just basically apply it to the whole budget. Okay, any further discussion or questions? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, just in general, uh, obviously I'm for this, but um, at the end of last fiscal year, is your, how much was free cash was freed up just from money given back to the budget from, that was unused? Uh, is that known? Now let's see if I have that file with me. Uh, nope. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Basically, we rolled three million. So, you know, the balance of that got rolled. And the other three million. I think about a million and a half was surplus revenue, and then a million to a million and a half was from turnbacks from the budgets. Uh, and so, uh, but actually, you know, if you're curious, just email Ruth and say, uh, could I just get the rollovers? And that'll have all the individual budgets and what's turned back. I'll do that, but what prompted the thought was that you reduce the free cash. To reduce the tax rate, you can, in my mind, you can never reduce it as you know enough. This reduces it to everybody. Everything balances no, out. No, I, I understand. Yep. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you just email Ruth, she'll okay. send you the same thing she sent me. All right, thank you. Uh, any other questions? Okay, so uh, motions been made and seconded for three million four thirty-five eight forty-six to be used taken from available funds, free cash, and used against the uh, tax rate. So all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Unanimous. Fifteen. Now, the last article is the Fiscal Stability Fund. That's the last article we're going to vote on on the last day of the last minute that we're meeting. Uh, so that's the thing that sort of balances everything out. Uh, I mentioned to you that um, that we're, we're, it looks like we might get more free more state aid than we had originally projected. Now, of course, that's the governor's recommendation. That's not necessarily the House and the Senate's recommendation. So, uh, but of course, our health insurance um, could be a little bit higher, a lot higher, a little bit higher, or about the same. Uh, when uh, the GIC is all set, well, the GIC is all set, but the, the town has to make the calculations and all. Uh, so, you know, you, the state giveth and the state taketh away, so. Uh, okay, so that's the warrant. No. And then we'll, tr we'll do a lot more of this on uh, uh, Wednesday when we meet. Yes, John? How much is in this uh, fiscal stability and stabilization fund? Right now, I think about 17 million. And, uh, and what if, is the purpose of that fund as opposed to the long-term stabilization? The long-term stabilization fund is an emergency fund. It's not, it's not a rainy day fund. It's, not a, it's an emergency fund. If we, for example, we had a lawsuit a couple of, you know, over the last, God, it seemed to take it forever. Uh, but it was a number of years. Now, we won the lawsuit. But if we had lost the lawsuit, we would have had to come up with several million dollars. That would be one place that we could go for it. Um, on the other hand, the fiscal stability fund is part of the five-year long-term plan, and money is put in there deliberately knowing that at some point we're going to start drawing it down. 
And when that gets completely drawn down, then in all likelihood he'll be go to the voters for more money. So that's why there's two different funds there. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Alan? Would it be appropriate to take any sort of position on the economic development aspects of the master plan? Uh, it's no appropriation. Actually, you know, it's just a resolution. They're asking town yeah. meeting to sort of get behind it. Um, I don't think I mean, they necessarily it, have to do it, but it, you know, it's up to the I mean, do, do, we, do you think that anyone, any town meeting member might ask, what's FinCom think of this? And, I guess I think it'd be nice to have an answer to that question. Sure, Charlie. Yeah, I, I've thought about that, and I think that I, mean, I think we could congratulate the people that worked on this and so forth. But a lot of things that are in there are going to have a future cost, a big cost. And I, I would be hesitant to say that we're endorsing that now, when uh, we may find ourselves faced with a particular article to spend a lot of money as a result of the plan in the future, and, and we should be reserving the judgment for the future. At least that's how I see it. Does anybody else have any thoughts on it, Peter? It seems to me that the, the town spent uh, a lot of time and money on, on this thing. Uh, and and uh, it seems to me very likely that Charlie, did you have any specific areas, for example, that you thought that could be, uh, I suppose a, a consultant or something like that might be a cost? Did you have any other areas that you were concerned about? Uh, traffic, you know, changes in traffic or roadways. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, right now, like, I don't feel qualified to take a position on it from a, a finance point of view. I guess maybe I just haven't studied it as much. Um, Jane? Well, I, I would agree with Charlie. To start with, I agree with Charlie in the sense that this is sort of that weird moment where we have it to happens be, occasionally. Well, we have to be the no. Well, we have to be the justices at the State of the Union who sit on our hands while everyone sort of stares at us. Well, that's fine, right? Um, but I do think, sort of, as sort of almost what Alan might be trying to get at is, um, I, I think this was at least my time in town one of the more transparent processes I've ever watched, right? I mean, they, they came to us early on. I remember we had a presentation at the beginning. Felt like we had some connection with them towards the middle. They came to us at the end. I know they surveyed multiple people in the room. Um, I don't think so. I don't think there would be any damage done if we wanted to just, you know, thank them for their efforts, congratulate them on what I think was a pretty open process. I don't think anybody could ever allege that they it wasn't open. If anything, it was sort of in your face at all times. So I, I think that would be perfectly acceptable to say, you know, congratulate them on their great work, their effort, thank them for a transparent <coughs> process, and we're, we're done without taking a position. Alan? Well, whatever a comment might be, I think could be restricted to what we heard in the hearing, which was focused on economic development aspects, which relate to zoning and the permitting process and whatever, without taking any position on invasive weeds or open space or some of the other issues. I mean, we didn't, we only heard a hearing on a restricted piece of it. Right. So if we take any position at all or recommendation at all, I think it would be restricted to only what we heard. Anybody else? Okay, tell you what, could, could I ask you, like say over the next week, to pull out the brochure that they, they gave to us, go through the economic development section and see what you think. And, uh, Alan, why don't you raise the... Uh, why don't we revisit it on the 18th? I don't think it's something we need to have a huge amount of discussion about, but I think, you know, if you still feel you want to do it, we can do it. I, can, I, I think Charlie's right. You, and he's right. You could always say, I, I think it would be perfectly true, everybody feels. They've done a very open process. They've gone through it. Uh, you know, uh, I, I think I could support maybe some getting rid of some of the special permits and have right, uh, and, and some of the others, whether we want to endorse it or not, is up, is up to the committee. So, uh, 
Sure. Yeah, the reason, the reason of my reticence was that um, I think it was last fall, uh, Carol came to the capital planning committee and was asking for a couple hundred thousand dollars to, to implement the recommendations of the uh, master plan. And uh, first of all, the, she had no recommendations to implement, so I didn't quite have to get my arms around that. But um, and secondly, they were the implementation from the, where we reached the. We didn't know whether it was going to be actually a capital cost or an operating cost. But my point is that signaled to me that the planning department thinks that there's <coughs> going to be a cost in the future to implement various aspects of, of the plan. And so I just think that. We got to be careful. We should be careful um, that we, you know, support the work that they've done and the and as you say, the process that they follow, without getting ourselves in a position of supporting some implementation that we don't know anything about. Okay. So I think if, if you know another thing that might be good to do is if some people, if you go through the whole process, or you you know you re-examine it, and you say you know I think we should say something. You know, go and type it in, and uh, then we have some words before us to actually, you know, take a vote on. Uh, so I'll, I'll set that up for the uh, 18th. Why don't you put it on the agenda for discuss master plan? And uh, what? Uh, so I, I looked at when I looked at the uh, first draft of the plan, which was more unabashedly pro growth, I would say. I did have a conversation with people in the planning department, and they said, "Oh, wasn't well, that what finance committee wants?" I said, I don't think so. I don't remember discussing that as a committee that we're pro growth or pro. I mean, certainly we'd like to see more revenue in town, but not necessarily, you know, 10 story buildings to get more revenue. So I, I do think there's some view that the pro growth aspects are finance driven. And so we should have something to say on that. I don't, I, I don't think I necessarily support going for growth for finance reasons, but people perceive that as being one of the driving factors. In reviewing, and I encourage you to review the actual plan, not just the summary, mm -hmm. the economic development portion of the plan, or the zoning portion of the plan, um, because there's a lot more detail in there about you know why they want growth and where they want it. Charlie, mm -hmm. I, I think um, at an er earlier meeting, probably two years ago, when they came, when she came before us, we did have a good deal of discussion about trying to do something to eliminate. Or reduce the structural deficit. So I'm sure that they, you know, as a sort of policy matter, incorporated those thoughts into the yeah. process. Carolyn? I did go to maybe two meetings, and I did find it interesting that with there was a number of younger um, people um, who were very adamant about, well, we need to get more dense in order to, you know, grow and have them. And so there was, there was a an element of that among a s group of people who I felt were consistently going to those meetings. And they tended to be younger, they tended to have either grown up or lived in more dense areas like Brooklyn or Somerville <coughs> or Cambridge. Um, and you know, my thought in listening to them was, well, do we really want to become Brooklyn or Somerville or Cambridge? And, and how do we find a balance between the two? Um, we're never going to be Lexington, but we may not be the, the latter, the former. So. Of course, the height, I think they were talking like the capital is only three stories. Right, right. And the, uh, the Cambridge Savings Bank building there, I think, is three stories. It's three stories, yeah. Um, in that, so. Well, I, again, people take a look at it. Uh, it's not required an appropriation. I assume the selectmen are going to make a recommendation on it. And, you know, even if we don't take a position, of course, you as individual members of town meetings could, could do that. So uh, let's talk about it on the eight, uh, 18th and see if any, see what you want to do. Uh, Grant, uh, we went through a lot of Warren articles and voted. Uh, are you ready to make a recommendation on articles 26 and 27? No, I haven't got the amount to cover yet. Okay. Okay, uh, there will be no meeting this Saturday. Uh, it's interesting, I, I bumped into uh, uh, the town council today, um, and he said that you know the selectmen are doing well, the warrant's small, and, and it looks like we're doing pretty well too. 
So um, not saying that we won't have a meeting on the 28th, but we don't have a meet we won't have a meeting this Saturday. Um, and then uh, hopefully next week, uh, you know, by the 18th, I'll see if we're doing fine and let you know on the uh, on the 28th. But you know, we seem to be able to move through this pretty well. So uh, and not a, not a huge number of big issues. So uh, hopefully that can go. So no meeting this Saturday. Uh, this Wednesday, the town manager, uh, the reserve fund transfer request on the veterans benefits. Uh, that's that 140,000, you know, that, that uh, Mary Margaret discussed earlier. Uh, solar power purchase agreement and facilities department, um, and then a whole bunch of a few other Warren articles that we talked about. So that'll be, and hopefully we can vote on those at the same time. Next Monday, capital planning, uh, and then the 23rd, and then the 18th, we'll discuss the master and whatever budgets are left. And then the uh, school committee is the 23rd. That usually takes up a good part of it. You all got the school budget, uh, or at least the uh, superintendent's recommendation, which I assume will pretty much, do you, do you foresee the school committee making any? No, the end pages would be the same, but they're gonna, things will be juggled around inside. Okay, will we get any, uh, say by next Monday, do you think we'll get a, a summary maybe of what? <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, school committee isn't there. <laughs> do you do you think we can get a uh, just a line item, just a bullet points on changes that the school committee makes? They won't make the changes until well, Thursday. Thursday would probably be the last day they'll make changes. So that's the nineteenth. Uh, or the twelfth. This Thursday. I'm oh, sorry? This Thursday. This Thursday. Okay, so that'll be the 12th. So if, if you could just get a summary of whatever changes. And, and just email it out. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, if you haven't done your test for your conflict of interest, you know, please get that done. Okay. Now, budgets. Everybody get their budget books out. Okay, let me go through these now. Finance Committee, Peter, correct me if I'm wrong as I go through these. Uh, Finance Committee is done. The Board of Selectmen is done. The Town Manager's done. Human resources done. IT's done. Controller's done. <coughs> Treasurer. We're meeting with them on the 18th. Okay. I've been chasing him for a week and finally pinned him down today. <laughs> okay, so uh, will you have a recommendation by the 25th? Hope, I can't imagine that it would be, unless there's a problem. Okay, because uh, 25th is next to, next to the last. We week. might even be able to do it the 18th. Uh, well, okay, that's yeah. up to you. Yeah, I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, I assume that means postage. You also? Yep, and uh, the parking as well. Okay. Assessors? So, sir, we have a meeting uh, right before the treasurer next Wednesday, week from this Wednesday at 7.30. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Okay. <coughs> uh, so, the assessors could be either the 18th or the 25th. Correct. Great. Legal is done. Town clerk is done. And registrar is done. Parking is with the treasurer. So I assume we'll have the parking at the same time. Yes. Okay. 
planning and community development is done. The development board is done and the rental properties is done. Zoning is done. Public works. Ready. You ready? Okay. <coughs> All right, we'll start with natural resources. Last week, a new uh, budget for natural resources was uh, distributed. I hope you all have it. Okay, and for, so we should just zap the other one and substitute this. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll start with salaries and wages. Uh, if you turn to the uh, wage page, um, you'll see that the major change or increase there is there is a um, stipend for a uh, senior park maintenance <coughs> employee. Uh, this is a stipend that was created this year um, in the amount of $4,401. Um, this stipend was created because this employee has <coughs> taken on um, uh, more additional responsibilities and has been doing a good job at it. And the thought was that uh, he should be compensated by a stipend rather than um, a reclassification because it's easier to get rid of a stipend than a new position if that is the choice down the road. <coughs> So that is the, um, other than uh, ordinary uh, inc wage increases, that's the only change in the salary and wage line and on the first page. Was that approved by Human Resources as well? I'm assuming it was. I, I, I don't know. Okay. And, and this is in. So another one. Huh? Will you, I'm sorry. Can you interrupt? No, no, that's okay. So the stipend, you know, when this particular employee leaves and somebody else comes in, they might give it to somebody else. They might have somebody else do that. <coughs> they might. Or the thought is the stipend will go away. And, th and I, that, that, that's why a stipend was chosen rather than to go through the process of reclassification. Okay. I, I just know that there were, I think, five reclassifications that were not approved. So that's why I'm asking. Because I'm concerned that this is an end run. End run right now. <laughs> well, I, I I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Okay. Could I ask that the two of you yeah. examine that issue? And I just want to check it before. Just yeah. come back and say it's not an issue or it is. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It probably isn't, but. Just yeah. Uh, and uh, on the expense side. Um, it's uh, just a slight increase in supplies, and otherwise it is a flat budget except for a new expense uh, at, the, at the bottom. You can see historic sculpture maintenance. This is an amount, $5,000, is intended to be, um, I believe, an annual sum going forward to take care of um, the Uncle Sam statue, the Monogamy Indian, and the Dallin uh, Town Hall flagpole. And the intent is to contract that work out to people who are skilled in handling that type of a work. Do you see this as a yearly? Yes. Start. Oh, will this just be the Uncle Sam, or will it sort of be all? The uh, right now, the thought is it will be the Uncle Sam statue, the Mononymy Indian at the Town Garden, and the uh, Dallin flagpole at Town Hall. Okay. Uh, and those are the only changes, and I recommend that the natural resources budget be approved in the amount printed. Just one question. Sure. One million seven, or sorry, one million two seventy six nine eighty one. Yes. Okay. 
I, I miss it. The stipend is that the four four oh one? Yes. Okay. okay. When, when people do substitute pages, if they could do the shading later, uh, yeah. that that would be helpful. It's okay, uh, Jeff. Just on the shading, if I might mention, I, oh. I emailed with Andrew Flanagan about it, and he says that next year they will make the shading lighter, so when this comes through to us, we'll be able to read it. So. Okay. Okay, Dick. With the 5,000 qualifies for the uh, Preservation Act, mm. which is historical, it's, it's a main issue. It's not, is this something that's not the main issue? Keep trying to get something out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, it's been got it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, when? Uh, is, do you know if the plan is to continue the tree planting 40,000 for a long time, or is it just to, to catch up with what we've been missing? I understand it's going to be, a, it, right now, it's intended to be ongoing. Whether it will be ongoing five years from now, or ten years from now, I don't know. Yeah, really sort of grew out of the, uh, oh, what are they called? The microburst. Yeah, the microburst. Uh, when we just got wiped out, it was unbelievable. So I think it grew out of that, but we've got a lot of trees that are dying in Arlington that need yeah. to be replaced. Uh, Tom? The director did say that if he, if, if he, needed, help, he needed help in natural resources, it was lacking. There was one particular area that he would like to see. It was natural resources. He made a call. Uh, other questions? Comments? What? One more. So the, the one, one of the spending items in the master plan is actually in public works. They said the public works was underfunded and needed more people. So then the town manager didn't put anything in his budget to address that. Right. Doesn't agree with that, or doesn't have the money for it. Or doesn't have the money for it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So your motion is one million two seventy six nine eighty one. Yes. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Favorable action, unanimous, 3915, okay? Uh, the next is uh, page 97, maintenance of town fields. And the practice in the past several years has been that uh, the DPW uh, puts in $40,000, does $40,000 worth of work that's taken out of their budget on the playing fields. And then uh, Parks and Rec from the revolving fund, the user fees, makes up the difference. And now you'll see that there's a $10,000 increase this year. And that's because there, there was a sense that the DPW's funding stayed uh, flat at 40 over several years. and. Each year, the DPW was, was pulling more and more money out of user fees. So to make it more equitable, the DPW is going to put in $10,000 more. Um, and we'll go up to that $50,000 limit cap and then go into the user fee revolving fund to make up any difference for any field maintenance. Okay, so it's, in other words, the user fees and the money coming out of the enterprise fund was... No, it's a revolving fund. Well, yeah. It wasn't coming out of the rest. Oh, it's in a revolving fund. It's in a revolving Okay, so that's growing. This is to match it. it I don't know if it's no, growing. It's not, no. This no. is no. not growing. This, um, the DPW has been put, putting in 40. And then because the, it's been costing more and more for the field maintenance, they've been dipping into the user fee fund more and more. Yep. So they've been depleting okay. that. And to make it more equitable, they're going to put in ten thousand dollars more as okay. they continue to take money out of the user fees. Okay, Tom? Basically I think what he was saying was he felt that 
DPW was not paying their share. The users were paying more over the years, so he boosted his end up to come equal with the users' fees. That's what he did. That's what I got out of it. Okay. Which was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have any other questions? Charlie? Yes. Well, most of this work outsourced. Uh, I don't think the field maintenance is necessarily outsourced. I think it is a contract. I think it is contracted. I don't know if it's all con all outsourced though. Maybe not. But I, I think I think uh, natural resources. Um, has the some whole turf maintenance piece, though, I thought Joe that is said was contracted. That is. Any other questions or comments or? Okay, uh, so I assume that you're recommending the 50,000? Yes, I am. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, moved and seconded for $50,000. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? Three, nine, 15. Engineer. The uh, major change in the town engineer budget is the expense line for contracted services, uh, 5202. That is for um, professional services such as surveying, mapping, uh, things like that. And that I'm sorry, surveying? Surveying, mapping, whatever okay. professional services they need to, to contract out. Um, and it, that uh, line item will change depending on what projects are going on. Now, if you look at um, 2014 actuals, you'll see a, uh, the expense of $26,279. That um, was, um, uh, those were costs associated with um, DEP requirements for the Buzzle field. Uh, the, the field was built over a landfill. So the town ha has, has then and since been spending money on the Buzzle field. So the, um, the $10,000 increase, $10, increase in 2016 over last year is associated with the Buzzle field work, which the um, hope is that that work will be completed um, soon. Uh, I don't know if it'll be complete, completed in six, 2016, but, but the expectation is that uh, expense <coughs> line will, will start to go down in the future. Okay. Um, so I recommend that the town engineer budget be approved as printed. Okay, so 143, 454. Mm -hmm. Is there any questions on the town engineer's budget? Carolyn? Can I ask where Buzzle Field is? It's right here. It's oh, the, the, the one that Arlington Catholic uses as well? No, it's the one next to it. The one above it? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Okay. 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 The one that a lot of snow got. Is there a lot of snow? Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember if there's snow dumped on it. But no. Okay. Okay. Are there any other questions on the uh, town engineers? Okay. Uh, do I have a? Uh, you're recommending 143, 454. Yes, I am. Second. 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 Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Three nine fifteen. The next budget is the Public Works Administration's budget. This is the, di the division that oversees all the other divi divisions. You'll see uh, the, 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 made, the changes in this budget are the result of the new facilities division that's going to be created. So you'll see in the salaries and wages line up top, it's a decrease, and that is because there are two positions that are being pulled out of public works admin and are going into the new facilities department division. And 
and everything else, the expense, the expenses are level funded from <coughs> last year, um, and so that's really the only the only change to the public works uh, admin budget. So I uh, recommend that the budget be approved as printed. Okay. Uh, questions, Dean? Uh, you lost me. Where did the money go? Did you say? The the salaries and wages line went down because there will be two positions. If you look in the in the uh, wage page in the public admin budget, you'll see that the energy manager is not funded in this budget, and there's a senior building custo custodian that's not funded in this budget. You see the two blanks at the, the last column? Mm -hmm. Page 101. <coughs> Page 101 oh, all the yes, way. Two so those those two positions are going to be moved into the new uh, the new division that the town manager will be talking about on Wednesday. Do we have a budget in here? Yes, yeah. we do. Okay. 113. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you'll also see down at the on the wage page, page 101, you'll see that. Um, there's the Bedford offset. Uh, there's there, it disappears this year. It doesn't actually disappear. It, it's in the, the facilities department budget. So those are the changes. Er, essentially, public works remains the same, except there are two positions that are being moved to a different division, mm -hmm. and the offset that's being used with relationship to the energy manager is also going to be shifted to a new division. And that was the, is that the energy manager that had a reclass? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Dean? I don't know. Well, I, I know I had asked, I had asked a few weeks ago about the water and sewer offsets, and um, Grant and I learned a thing more than I ever wanted to learn about these. Um, we're almost there. <laughs> I, I question, though, I, I don't know if we if they took all of the offset out of this budget, or if they took enough. So I don't think, claim to be an expert, if the bu I think the budget's gone down and the offset's gone up. So if you, if you, so in other words, if you look at the FY15 budget and you back the offset out, you get, I, I just calculate, it's 537815. Go to the following year, you take the offset out, you get 448196, which, okay, so that makes sense of what Christine said. But when we went down, whatever I just said, 80,000, 90,000, um, our offset went up 10 grand. Which is going the, wrong, going the opposite way. Uh, sure. Charlie? Yeah, and that's not necessarily true. It depends. I mean, the people who left the uh, department might not have been working on water and sewer related uh -huh. projects. I mean, yeah, that's right. the criteria. Right. right? Yeah. Um, and, and I can say that they don't. Yeah, they don't. If you look at what they're Yeah, there's no water and sewer offsets in the facilities <coughs> budget. So I would have thought that the offsets were on specific people, but the deputy town manager has told me he does not put the offsets onto people. He actually puts onto the whole department. In this fancy little memo he wrote me, which we're still trying to decode. Um, <laughs> Sudoku. <yeah. laughs> I mean, so I don't think we should stop voting it at the moment, though I, but we might have to, I mean, I'll ask him, but we might, I figured I'd mention it because we might have to come back to it. Although he says he does it to the whole department, some of it's calculated as a charge back, but so it is by person, because when, at least that's what some of the department heads think, two of the department heads I work with. Huh. Two, actually three of them, now that I think of it. Um, I don't know what other people have found. Um, I'm sorry, you said that you, you've seen so it specific. So, that, so when I've talked, because I talked to all of the department heads whose budgets, because I knew it had come up, they were able to explain it as chargeback for work done to water and sewer. So the comptroller had explanations, the projects that they do that are related to water and sewer. IT had examples, and human resources had examples. Um, as to how their staff are dealing with water and sewer. <coughs> so they perceive it to some degree as that. 
that may. But be really, it's the whole department. That's well, right, right. But the, the the total is based on that work. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, I, I think I might have actually started to figure out here, but. Okay. So you're continuing your research. We're working on. I think the tricky thing, and I might have just figured out while I was sitting here, is it's odd what they do and why why it's confusing to a lot of to us. At first, they let me just read what he wrote because when you read what he says, it kind of makes makes it clear. The formula consists of a percentage of a department's time attributed to the water and sewer operations, which is then multiplied by the department's prior year budget as approved by town meeting. So I would have sort of thought that, and it kind of makes sense because you have to get the book, now that we're talking about it. <coughs> they take last year's, this year's offset is actually from last year. They do it a year in arrears. So now that we're saying that a lot of Based it, on make, a year. it would make sense that it's going up this year because the switch in it would have to make, well, no, it would have to go up and then be allocated over. Yeah. But it, it's, it's, it's just like our assessment to Minuteman, it's based on last, you know, next year's right. assessment is based on this year's enrollment. Yeah, so I think now that I think about it, I think the number, the 283 is probably right, because if you take last year's number and you multiply it by the percentage he has, he probably gets to the right number. At some point, we just need to take those two peoples and move the offset over, which I guess he could do next year. Unless, unless the facilities managers are not doing yeah, any not water and sewer. Yeah, they're, they're not even relevant. Uh, they may, or last year, they didn't either. Right, but well, if yeah. next year they use the same percentage, yeah. it's going to go down yeah. because yeah. the public works. It would go down. Yeah. And it's sure going down as well. doesn't yeah. really match with changes in how much work they're doing. Well, because of what happened, he's going to have to update the formula. Every year he looks at what departments were reorganized, and he updates the formula. Okay. So he's going to have to update the formula for this particular department because it's going to be a larger percentage of the budget time is going to go towards water and sewer because the energy manager and the custodian are no longer there. Okay. So if it used to be 50%, 50%, yeah, then it's going to go up to 60 or 70% for next year. Okay. Okay. Are there any? Other questions or comments on the Public Works Administration? Okay, uh, are you recommending the budget of the uh, 164? 288. 288. Is that your recommendation? Yes, it is. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, any other discussion or questions? Okay, all those in uh, all those in favor of the 164-288, we say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? 3915. Okay, Christine? All right, the next budget is highway. Uh, you will see a decrease of $9,830 in salaries and wages and that's because there were uh, vacancies uh, with new hires at a, uh, at a lower amount, a lower salary. Uh, and um, other than that, the, uh, the expense, the expenses, uh, have a few slight changes. There's a twenty thousand dollar decrease in uh, auto and gas, uh, auto gas and oil fuel, and a decrease in the pavement markings. Why are the pavement markings down? It seems to me that we're going to need more pavement markings after this winter, maybe. I yeah I I um I talked to the the director about 
the likelihood of needing increased uh, highway maintenance after this winter. He says that uh, he expects to have uh, enough from this budget, and if not, it would be we uh, get money from the state to do whatever work. Now, I know that um, last year, the 37.5 that we uh, spent on pavement markings, we used, um, uh, this, that was the first year we used a different type of um, pavement markings, and it was intended to <coughs> be a product that lasted longer. Okay. So I, th I think uh, that may be a factor in the, in the decrease. I suppose the state will do all the markings on Mass Ave, so you won't have to worry about it. Uh, was the did we we have did we have a contract on the auto gas? It seems to remember that at one point we had a, a contract to buy gas at a certain rate, uh, and maybe that's expired. I don't know that. But it's, it's just something that I seem to recall. But I, I, I think we should ask the manager about it on, on Wednesday. Just yeah. Fuel. I'm waiting for the first hybrid snowplow truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are there any other questions on highways? Okay, Christina, you're recommending as printed one million five nine two seven nine one. Yes. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Favorable action. Unanimous. Three nine fifteen. Okay. Snow and ice. Snow and ice. The most recent number we have spent so far this year on snow and ice is one million nine hundred and six thousand seven hundred and thirty three dollars. Seven hundred and thirty two? Three. 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 One nine zero six seven three three. Okay, and it says of like Today or as of Thursday. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Well, Boy, that's a lot of money. Now, are they still scooping up snow, or are they letting Mother Nature take it away? Uh, they're still they're still scooping up snow. The problem is where to put it. <laughs> the, the biggest challenge um, is is where to put the snow, and that's been a challenge in prior years. As a real problem this year, right now we're sending it out of Arlington. Um, if uh, if the uh, department, uh, if the director had uh, had one wish fulfilled, it would be to find have a secure place where we could every year not only dump snow but tree debris and uh, use for construction staging and things like that. Uh, he, he was pointing out that just this year alone we've spent about $200,000 hauling uh, snow out of the, out of the, the town that, that, that we wouldn't have to spend if we had a place here. Uh, so I think that's something that we should uh, uh, keep in mind and maybe uh, try to figure out what the solution is. There's trouble is nobody wants them in their backyard. Tom? We, we talked uh, a lot about that, me, Christine, and the governor director. And, uh, it, it's be, it's, I thought, I, I kind of knew it wasn't just this year. It's, it's a problem all the time. And um, we, we threw a few sites around. And uh, in my opinion, and, and I, I gave him my opinion, I, I really do believe it's the right of street is the best the best spot. I don't believe trying to pursue, even if the parking lot across the street from St. Camilla's was available and you're right in the middle of a neighborhood, I think you need to go to Ryder Street, which you can be used 12 months out of the year for 
trees, leaves, snow, or whatever. And um, we're not making a million dollars <coughs> at least. We, we could be, we could definitely cut that snow budget down if we had a facility like that. But it would be an investment because we'd have to set it up as a facility. Now, don't we rent that facility out now? It, it's been rented, yep. Yeah. It's been rented. I believe the lease is up soon, or whatever soon is, but I think we really need to look into that because what's going to happen, this number is going to keep rising because we just have no way to put anything. Not even when we have bad weather, we get the trees and we get the leaves. I mean, right you now, basically, we we're taking snow from A and then we moving it and taking it to B and then we're, we're doubling it. We're paying double. Yeah. You, even in, even in, a, in a normal winter, we've been spending had to spend money to haul it out because we've been dumping it in the res, mm -hmm. but it doesn't melt Ooh. fast enough in time for the res to open up. <laughs> so so we dump it at the res and then come in late winter time, early spring, we need to haul what's left out mm -hmm. because the res needs to open up that parking lot and open up its facility. So we're hauling <coughs> even in a good year. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then we had to spend a good chunk of money to put back the high school field. <coughs> we dumped all over there. So we, we, we just keep taking money and going here, 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 and then finally get it out of town. So what do it, we, we I, wonder, I don't know if you guys know, what, what do we get for rent for writer? I, I try to get that at that time under the rental properties, and I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Under the <coughs> budget on the rental properties, it's not in there. Yeah. Do you know? I, I don't know the, is that the La La Cata? Yeah. I don't know. So but I was wondering how much space. Th it's always an interesting, with you know, contrary logistics, because you got to pay fuel costs to, and versus storing it somewhere. And how much space do we need? And you know, we talk about melters. I asked about melters, and they take up too well, much space. Well, right now, you how much space are we talking about that that Mr. Uh, that, that they said is a could get the one well, wish I, would be. I, I don't space. think you can put in a, a square footage on it because you don't have any now. You don't have any now. And so, what do you got? You have a piece of property. How much you're making? I don't think it. They're making enough to justify what we're spending every year to go up. So we don't. I mean, when he was this one of the questions, you know, what keeps you up at night type of question. He said, "If I had one wish, it would be a, a, a space." Yeah. If he had a wish, so he'd like to pursue <coughs> the park so across the street. For but he doesn't know how big that space would be. He, that's why it's wishful thinking. He just doesn't know how big it would have to be. Uh, well, bigger the better, but I think we're, right. we're, we we have a choice. We're not. Well, you've seen what the reservoir parking lot looks like. It's not yeah. that huge. Well, bigger than that, right? If it's set up right, and it is an investment, it's it's certainly going to not solve all our problems, but it's going to be a lot better. No, but space is a premium. That's that's what we learned from the master But it's planet. only going to be more costly every year to get that snow out of here. What we should do is is is. Uh, uh, dump it on Robin's farm because if you dump it high enough, you could have a great sledding <laughs> hill. I, I, I suggested John Kilbow. Well, you got this. Uh, you, you got this little sledding hill at the top. If you just put it all the way up there, you can have a, almost a ski resort there. Yeah. Yeah. But to, to, give, to, to give you some sense of how how expensive this is, if you go back to the natural resources okay. budget. Page 90, 95, or the, 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 the page that replaces 95. Yep. If you look under 2014 actuals, the expense line maintenance, $211,737. Much of that was to remediate Pierce Field, which was used as the snow farm that, that, for that year. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're, they're, uh, we, we either pay to haul it out, or we keep it, and inappropriate places, and then have to pay to to, to remediate what we do. Yeah, it's, it's sort of a linear equation, you know that because option A is lousy, option B is lousy. Which one is the worst, and that's the one you have to budget for. It, it, I mean, really, which one is best? What's really bad is he's only got 15, 18 employees. So what happens is when you get 15, 18 guys, they're 24, 30 hours straight. They're going home. When those 15, 18 guys go home, this operation stops until those guys start to come back in. He does not hire or keep contractors on. 
it stops. So you lose that amount of time freezing, collecting, whatever you want. I, I don't think he sends them home when it's snowing, but mm -hmm. the operation stops. As they filter back in, it starts to you know, ramp up again until, so you're still looking at 15, 18 employees. So you, <coughs> you gotta reamp the whole system if you wanna stay in the game. Okay. And, you know. So where do they take the snow? <coughs> right, if they take it out of town? There's several, what they call now the state snow, snow permanent uh, dumps. Snow. Where? They has one on Western Ave in Brookline, that, uh, actually it's Harvard University's Cambridge, property right. that French controls. Um, wow. Johnny Carroll's, Cal Junk Island, Lexington is another one. Um, in Lexington? They, yeah, they, right. they're around, there was one in Watertown this year. They're around. And they average anywhere from 50 to $200 a load Plus, you're going to pay the transportation mm -hmm. to bring in there. Yeah. Well, that's about, I, I was thinking like, uh, you know, Nashua, uh, the distance, is, that's more encouraging. It's only Lexington. I was thinking it might be, you know, like it's Pepperell or so. so okay. Sure but you don't forget, you're paying well, the transportation to go there. Yeah, okay. Well, I, mm -hmm. well, I, mm -hmm. I, I trust that we use the vehicle. Hand trucks or we use the back there? No, no. We, we, we don't <coughs> have that. We, we use the contract. Yeah, so that's cost well, probably probably 100 bucks or more per trip. Right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> I mean, when we did Mass Air, we contracted the whole thing out. Uh, you know, they had the French had his own equipment, his own dump, everything. All we did was we had a couple of pieces of our sanders or whatever to sweep up after. But everything else you've been seeing after Mass Air has been we hire trucks, we use our own, and then you both you got to pay. Together. The truckers have to make about seven hundred dollars a day. Trucks close to seven hundred dollars a day, correct? And then you're paying the dump fee. Well, so you know, I did inquire about melters, and uh, but you no. need space. You I still, know. You well, still need it. You still and, need and the. You still need the the place to put it. You need. You need to staging this, and loading. You, you need to take the 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 melter won't go from from right. block to block to block. Right. The mel melter will be like at the res, right. and then the trucks will go to the res, and that's where it will melt. So you still need. Land. A, a staging area for that, yeah. but yeah. certainly less than a snow farm. And I was wondering about you know cooperatively uh, leasing it out to other towns. Or, but Adam, you know, he had listed five reasons why you know he well, didn't didn't like them. Well, the, you know. it's good and bad. Yeah. You, you could pay a half a million for one, and you could have a hundred reasons why. You can get one like Logan Airport has; they don't have a problem at all. Now, some of them just bought one. Uh, my understanding is, you know, yeah, they have their issues with it, but... Well, we'll wind up leasing it from Somerville instead of having one of our own. And I, I, the the trouble is, if you, you, if, if, you, if you have it, you, you don't know, want to lease. everybody's going to want it at the same time. Yeah, you know, well, lease. yeah, but not exactly the same time or something. Yeah. It's so, sort of offset it, but yeah. uh, he is right. You can only use it for melting snow. There's no other... You can't even use it for the trees or anything, no. so... Doesn't but doubles the wood plus you back it up to Starbucks and they keep their water that way. But you're going to give them the resources to stick experienced people around that melt. It's going to melt too. Yeah. So it, it's, you got to re the whole right. system or put up the flag and say we quit and mm -hmm. do something else. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe we should start a private business to do melting. We have thought of yeah. about it. I thought about it. <laughs> 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 Alan, Believe me. Uh, two questions. Um, I think we spent a lot of money removing snow from roofs. I know there were two big cranes on the Odyssey. Does that come into this budget, or is that a different budget? Uh, well, that's uh, who's going to pay for removing it from the roof? Yeah, I just don't know whether it's, it's, it's in the one point nine. It's in the one point nine. But, but it, it's part of this budget. It's not school. school budget or something. It's. Like, I know there were two huge cranes oh, on the school. Odyssey all day. It, the, the DPW director is of the opinion it should come out, yeah. come out of the school budget, not the snow and ice. So that's Ooh. TBD at this point? Yes. Okay. Uh, the other question was, I, I know, at least on our street, mm. we were lucky enough, some huge snowblower called the Beast of the East went up and down the road a few times to peel back to the curves. And it was one, apparently one of these out-of-state emergency crews that came in. And I talked to someone from DPW, and they said that's basically like regional courtesy, that, that when, you know, the, the 
beast of the east comes in from New York or New Hampshire, though we don't pay for it. We pay for the fuel. Is that? I understand that that we we did get assistance from, I think three states. Yeah. Um, um, that we are. That's not in our. We're not paying for. It. Yeah. Somebody said we we fill the gas tanks, and that's about that's about the expense yeah. of it. Which is, you know, I just wonder how much value that is added on to the, the, the two right. million. Right. <laughs> that might be another million worth of. Right. Right. Well, the, the, uh, the manager will be with us on Wednesday, uh, so you know we can s save up our snow and ice questions. Uh, and uh, yeah. I'm sure he's looking for answers too. I mean, it, it's uh, as summer you know Somerville's more crowded than we are. Uh, at, at least they don't have to deal with parked cars when they're cl clearing a lot of these streets. So that's a benefit. I, I wonder if the manager will have some idea of state or federal. Funds available. I'm sorry. Person. I wonder if the manager will have any idea of available state or federal. I'm sure he's looking. But yes, why don't you? You know, good question to raise with him. And uh, you know, I'll let him know there's be a, there'll be a lot of snow questions. <laughs> so. Uh, so that's so a million nine, and uh, so we we appropriated seven seventy one. 500,000, so we're going to have to look at, uh, you know, some money at, in the reserve fund to go to that, too, but we can sort of adjust that later on. Uh, questions? Okay, are there any other questions? Is, is the Ryder Street oh. spot between the Minuteman bike path and Mass Ave? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. it's in the middle. It's right, right across yeah. the road. It actually right, right behind, should right show right me right. what yeah. we do make on Ryder Street. It was 95. 95,000 is, is the revenue. The rev there are some expenses, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so 95,000 <coughs> we get a year. So we give up 95,000. The question is is it big enough to put $95,000 worth of snow? Yeah, this by all accounts is. is well, this by all accounts is an extraordinary year. Snow now. Trees, leaves. Right, but you would usually be having them at the same time. No, but it, it would be multiple uses. I, I think it's big enough to put more than anybody yeah. if it's set up properly. Okay, that would be an interesting question. Charlie? Yes, uh, Christine, I think a couple weeks ago you uh, you had some numbers on the average snow removal cost in the last several years. Can you repeat that again? I was using at the this past year, the, uh, this year, I, I estimated at 1.7. It's actually 1.9. Mm -hmm. You haven't um, updated it for that. I haven't updated for that. But the numbers um, for the last, the average for the last 10 years, um, my number last week was uh, an average, a yearly average of $1.2 million. So if you let's say 200,000 spread it around, it's a few dollars more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, there was one more comment. Tom I was surprised, we, we have a snow and ice committee that was formed by uh, town manager Farrington, and he was there, and I was surprised when I asked the director, they have, they have not met at all this year, and I don't know when the last time they did meet. They used to meet three times a year, they'd meet before the winter, Sometime after the first of the winter, and then at the end to sum it up. And before the winter, they would meet to set some plan or see what was going on. They have not met in a while, especially not this year. We're not making any money on this. Okay, so uh, Christina, you're recommending the 846? Yes, I am. Is there a second? Second. second. Okay, any further discussion? Dean? Yeah, just so I understand. Um, we have, if I do this correctly, we're at 1906, the budget's 771. We already have 500,000 in the def, usually the deficit accounts 500,000. So, one that's what's the five, yeah, that's what's in the five year. So, we're at about a, a true net deficit, or a net shortfall rate of about 650,000, give or, give or take. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll, uh, so, what's in this year's? I forgot, what did we roll from last year? Did we roll the fi whole 500,000 in? 500. So the whole five is in there. Yeah. Okay. And then we, uh, and I, can't, I don't have, 
we appropriated, I don't know, I think 250000 or something from the reserve fund. Uh, to cover. The reserve fund's higher now. <coughs> uh, we've had a few transfers. <coughs> yeah, so it's about 890000 now. Uh, no, sorry. We did the IT study. So that's 870. We're going to have the veterans benefits of 140. So that would be 730, 730,000. Uh, we have a possible fire budget. Uh, you know, but I, I think it's probably, uh, and I'll, uh, I haven't heard of any other, you know, email the other appointing authorities. On reserve fund, but we, we could probably end up putting a half a million from the reserve fund, you know, into that. Uh, well, we're, so we're close, though, to going through the reserve fund. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the only thing I would point out, and, you know, we, we look at the budgets on a full year macro level. Um, this can be more when we talk to the manager next week. Um, when you start looking at the expenditures over quarters, like if you ask for a report that says break down all the spending by quarters, a lot of the department heads are pretty responsible in that they hold off a lot of spending until the last quarter, not salaries and things like that, but if they've got to replace different things yeah. like that. Um, I think before we hit the fourth quarter or fiscal fourth quarter, we got to sort of figure out how we're going to deal with this number because if we're going to say we want to take this 650 and put it against the um against the reserve fund in its entirety on yep. the, the 650 we've got to tell the manager he needs to tighten that to get to start solving his other problems Um, Charlie? Yeah, just to confirm, so we had, last year we had 771000 in the budget, and then there's this $500,000 sort of reserve, and next year's going to be a rollover. So that means we have $1,271,000, right? Yeah. It was the, we were spending close to $2 million. Right, a as of last week. Yeah, as of. As I of believe the number's going to be two and a half yeah. before we get that, if we don't get Yeah, cleaning streets and all of that. Right. right. So, so we're. Um, you know, we're probably a million dollars in the hole, right? Uh, right, and so we're either going to we, we'll, we'll decide how much we can transfer out of the reserve fund, and the rest of it's got to be hit next year's tax rate, which means uh, if it's greater than the 500000 in the five-year plan, that means the amount of money we could set aside in the fiscal stability fund drops. Unless there's state or federal money. Unless you're state or federal money. So, uh, yeah, right. so Charlie, what I was saying is, my, my point is to, to stop the go, to stop going into the, the reserve fund. The manager, my opinion, would be you know really has to start doubling down through the end of the year on non anything that's absolutely not necessary, so he can solve all of his other problems. So if he has, we talked about retirements and police and fire and different things like that. We don't want to run those up and get the reserve fund hit to like five hundred thousand and then have less to put against this. Okay, I will raise that issue with him, uh, along with the several other issues that you've raised, uh, and we'll have them here Wednesday. So that could be one of the things that we. Uh, but uh, you'll need to put that together and, and get that so it works. Tom. One more comment. As of our meeting last Thursday, FEMA has not said yes or no. To the communities. They've asked for the expenses from January 1 up to that day. <coughs> and if they do say yes, uh, possibility you get 70% back in that month. <coughs> Did you all have any timetable? No, I guess how FEMA does, they'll take like the middle sex and they'll take and they put a number on it. They don't tell you the number, then they tell you the all your bills and then if it reaches that number, they say okay. If it falls short of that number, I Say you on your own. I think we need three more inches of nice fluffy snow 
<laughs> uh, so we could break the record and that put more pressure on FEMA. Okay, let me. Yeah, I, I just need to state my, my disagreement a little bit with, with Dean's approach. I mean, I think this is exactly the type of reason why we have a long term stabilization fund. You know, it, it's an extraordinary event. And I don't think we should be looking, you know, for cutting necessary expenses just because of this extraordinary event. Okay. But, you know, they could delay hiring. You know, every time you delay hiring for a few weeks, you know, you, you're able to accumulate some money. So uh, that's why we have a town manager. Um, I'm sure uh, he's working on that now, and we could we could ask some questions for him. Okay, uh, motion's been made and seconded for 846,000 for snow and ice for next year. Uh, is there any further discussion? No. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? 15. Okay, Christine. The next budget is the Highway Motor Equipment Repair Division, and this is the division that maintains the town's 150 or so vehicles, which are aging, um, and that is a concern. Um, but nevertheless, the, this budget is just has a, is just a slight increase over last year's budget. Um, I had some concern that it was. Uh, vastly under uh, under budgeted when you look at the actuals in 2013 and 2014 but the director explained that uh, he, he, he thinks that there may be um, certain efficiencies uh, and a change in certain policies um, that may reduce the amount of work that needs to be done or how the work is done um, to make uh, to make the expenses more realistic um, at, or, or to reduce the expenses. Um, so because of that, he wants to, he, he feels that this budget, the 2016 budget uh, is appropriate. He'd like to see um, how the actuals in 2015 turn out um, before he, he's inclined to want to increase this budget. So I recommend that the budget um, be approved as printed. Three eight two four three one. Yes. Okay. Questions, Charlie. Uh, Christine, does he have the uh, the year to date actuals? I mean, he's halfway through the year. Maintenance is probably you know relatively linear. And um, if he's you know if he's over twenty five thousand, he's halfway through the year. He's not going to make. I don't have how what the performance to date is. Um, but again, he says that uh, he thinks the prior years were too. Um, inappropriately high and that he, he he's he wants to and has started to to reevaluate and, and uh, put new policies in place to, to cut the, the expenses down at least try to Alan so Charlie I'm not sure it's linear I, I know that during snowplow season the machines take a serious beating so they may be past it but I guess um, Christine, I don't see anything that would support a lot of outsourcing. Do you know, you know what, what, how much maintenance is done in-house and how much is sent to Myrac or somebody? The, uh, the, 50, the 5202 line maintenance is, is outsourcing. Okay, it just, it just doesn't seem like much, but I guess that's the number. Oh, I see the 2014 actual was 50,000. Actually, 2013 and 14 are more than twice. Right, and, and that, that's, that's, that's one of the expenses he wants to examine more closely uh, just to, to determine should they have been that high in those, those actually in 13 and 14. Other questions? Okay, so you're recommending 382-431? Yeah. Is there a second? Second. second. Okay, any other discussion or questions? 
Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. 3915. Solid waste. The next budget is solid waste. Uh, the solid waste collection line, the first line, there's a uh, you can see a 2% increase. That is our, um, at, that is the, uh, our contract requires or calls for a 2% increase every year. Um, and if you look at the third line, solid waste disposal, that um, we are saving a, a chunk of money, and that too is the result of a new contract. So those two things are the primary reason, or it's particularly the, uh, the new uh, uh, disposal contract is resulting in a slightly different, slightly lower budget this year. Okay, so it's still going to uh, North Andover? Yes. Okay, and then how much of the, in what's our percentage increase for the collection? 2%. 2%. Oh, it says two percent. <laughs> Jack, uh, is what what happened to the recycling program? Is this is this a net number of recycling, or is the recycling carried someplace else? This, this is the net number. Net this is this is it. This is the net the number. The, the new contract was JRM. No, uh, JRM is the recycling people. I mean, they that gave us the same price that we would have gotten from waste management, plus the uh, weekly pickup and so forth. Um, but they are not uh, giving us any piece of the recycle payback. No, the, the rec so the recycling sale, you will have called that, are netted into these numbers. Are, are, yes. you, are you referring to the, the old, the white, white goods? Well, just the, you know, all those things that we have to separate out and put in the right. trucks and everything else, you know, paper, plastics. What I'm trying to say is we just haven't gotten anything to that for some time. That's right. They, they pick it up, they dispose of it, and they get the benefit. They can keep it. So we have any reduction in, res I assume the contract is a certain amount per ton. Yes. Yeah. 63. Okay. Yeah. $63? Yes. Yeah. So the benefit, the benefit from the recycling is there's hopefully fewer tons. I'm sorry, 63 is the tipping fee? 63, yeah. yes. Okay, so that's in the disposal. Right, okay. Uh, Paul. Um, what is residual disposal? Catch basin cleaning, tree removal, de demolition debris. Grant? Um, it, what do you see as a trend? Uh, so, so we see the decrease, especially in solid waste disposal. Um, and again, is that because we're disposing of less? He came to us last year with the new contract. Right. They, they cut us a lower price on the disposal fee, or they passed on a lower price on the disposal fee in exchange for. So will this um, level out? The, the, that reduction is a, sort of a one time. Next year will be more closely matched. This year's disposal fee. I believe it was a one time thing. Yeah, yeah. probably. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if we can I know, I, that's what I know because it sort of like depends on how much we recycle right. and, and how conscious we are about it. But okay, but okay so it sort of remains static. We won't see another. We won't see another decrease, most likely. Jonathan, hey, uh, so so that you're saying the tipping fee is a, is negotiated with JRM. It's not something that's established as part of our contract. Partial ownership of North Andover. It was negotiated in the contract. <coughs> I don't think we have a partial ownership of North Andover. No, we don't have one. We we solely 
renegotiate with the contractor. That's what this is. And we negotiate the tipping fee. But I thought when we got that contract treated that we got a large stipend back from them. Well, there are two contracts. The, the contract with JRM is just the hauling part. Right. And, and the contract with North Andover is just full of food. That's how we manage it. Yes, sir. Different contract. We're not getting a percentage out of the recycling anymore. Maybe for white goods or something like that we do, but in general, no. Okay, Alan. Every year when we get to this budget, there are a lot of questions about recycling and long-term trends and whatever. I was wondering if we could request a presentation by the recycling coordinator uh, to give us a better handle on, you know, where it's going and where the money is. And, uh, but I th you know, these are all good questions about what's, what's happening year after year and what have we saved and what's it costing us. And, uh, and I think the recycling coordinator would be able to answer those questions. As far as the trends are con concerned, Alan, you probably remember we had a handout from the recycling committee that shows the last 10 years or so. <coughs> yeah, it looks like the recycling coordinator would be able to produce the graphs and charts and the you know, firm numbers on it. Well, I think we also don't do a good job of retaining information. Because <laughs> right. Last year on oh, I've got five, February 10th, five. 2014, we got all these questions answered. Yeah with this nice memo from the town manager that included all these fancy charts in the back on how much we're going to save in trash over a period of time. Now the tipping fee is changing in a five-year contract. So um, we probably just need to retain this. Yeah, we have new people over here. Oh, you're new. You can have it. Yeah, here you go. Could you, uh, uh, do you have that electronically? I might have scanned it in, my, in the morning. Yeah, I, I still have it. Gloria has it. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Okay. Uh, when? I can you? forward it. Yeah, I'll forward it to. Uh, okay, just forward it to the committee so we can take a look at that. Uh, and Alan and a few others. Why don't you take a look at that and see if you still need? You know, you still like them to come before us. Okay, additional questions? Okay, uh, sure, Charlie? Where is the recycling coordinator in the Public administration. <laughs> okay, so Christine, are you recommending as printed 3,410,048? Yes. Is there a second? Second. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor of, uh, of this budget as presented, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Cemetery. Uh, the major change in the cemetery budget is uh, an employee moving to full time, which has resulted in an increase in salaries and wages. Uh, and there's a, a slight increase in the expense side for uh, contracted services. And other than that, it is the same budget as last year. Recommend that we approve the cemetery budget as printed. Okay, so I, I'm sorry, where's the additional 13? Uh, it's, uh, uh, there's a, an employee, motor equipment grade one on the salary page. He, he moved from part time to full time. Okay, okay questions? Okay, uh, it's been moved and seconded for 247043 for cemetery. Uh, 
Any additional discussion or questions? Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? 3 9 15. The next budget is the facilities. Um, Division budget, and I suggest that we defer this until Wednesday because I understand the town manager will be speaking on that. Okay. And then the next budget after that is street lighting. So 120,000, the same as the prior year. Right. Uh, we'll, we're seeing um, energy savings from uh, the new efficient lighting uh, and uh, the maintenance line item is difficult to budget for. Um, as you can see in 13 and 14, they're vastly different expenses. Uh, but this year we're uh, the department is budgeting the same as last year. So is the entire town then? Yes. Done? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Charlie? Uh, Christine, do you tell us, I, I don't remember, didn't we have a contract with Reading or something like that to take care of the lights at one time? Some town, not, not so far away. And are we still doing that? I believe we're still doing that. I just don't know exactly what they're what they're responsible for. What? I, I think it was maintenance, so, you know, replacing lights or something. I, I, I believe they're still doing that. It was maintenance in the lounge, fire lounge. Once to one, and fire lounge. At one time, I don't know if it's still ready. Well, could, I, I, I don't think, uh, okay, under traffic signals, they're doing that. Yeah. Okay, well, could you ask the question and mm -hmm. just get back to us on both the street lighting and uh, maintenance? Interesting. Okay, any other, uh, okay, I assume you're recommending 120000 Yeah. Well, do I have a second? Second. Any further discussion or questions? Okay, all those in favor of 120,000 for street lighting, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? Three, nine, three, two. And, and traffic signals is the next one. Page one to 18. And uh, the budget has a reduction of $3,200 uh, to be more in line with the actual uh, 2014. I recommend that the um, budget of 62500 be approved. Second. Okay. Is there any questions? Are they going to fix Do we still have full boxes? Another fire? Yeah, I don't think we do. I'm just curious. Carolyn? Are they going to... Um, Pleasant Street and Mass Ave is still not what it was prior to either the accident or the wind. I think the winds knocked a lot of it down. Um, is that going to be fixed any more than it currently is, or is this the new baseline? They're, they're saving that to be fixed as part of the oh, plant project where they realign the bike path there. Okay. Okay, are there any other questions on this budget? Nope. Okay, made and seconded for 625 uh, for uh, traffic signals. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? 3915. The only other change of this budget and I'm happy about it, is that fire alarm systems is no longer in DPW, it's in the fire department. Did you know that? Okay, 
from 35. Right. Did we do it? Okay, so community safety police is done. Actually, I, I, yes. so I think we did not vote the fire alarm system. Okay. Fire, okay, so we voted fire, but not the fire alarm systems. No, nothing to add other than the number. I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, second that, Paul. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you uh, thirty thousand dollars. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. So are these the systems between buildings, between town yes. buildings? Yes. Is that the full full back? No, no, I think those really are gone. Okay. Uh, any questions? Okay, all those in favor of 30,000 for fire alarm system, please say yes. 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 I thought I'd see if it's <laughs> Opposed? Okay, unanimous. Just want to see if you guys can hear Okay. Inspections. Yes. All set. Um, one of the few budgets that have basically no change. <laughs> except for some minor change in these salaries. The um, expenses <coughs> are the same. There's only the uh, 2,000 increase in salaries and the longevity of 805. Some interesting notes in speaking with the building inspector. We've uh, finally run out of the good old days of budgets and uh, the uh, hospital of all the money coming in because of the building permits. And of course we had our, our peak back in um, fiscal 11, 12, and uh, 13. But what is uh, surprising, with those major projects completed, and we're not really working on any major projects of that nature, mm -hmm. that uh, he's estimating for fiscal year 2016 that he hopes to take a 1.2 million in uh, permits. Right now, as for fiscal year 215, he's at 1,082,000 and hopes, and has some good feelings about it, it will probably get closer to 1.2 million. So even though we're, we're, we're back from the days of 1.7, 1.6, we aren't really that far behind with only any major projects. So this department brings in uh, quite a few dollars for what it has for a, um, a, uh, a uh, budget. And in speaking with him, I asked him about um, uh, law in Article 6. This would have any financial effect on the building department. And because it's presented to us as a non-monetary article. And according to him, he thinks there's been some changes made as to things, but that thing could, that thing was in its first format could conceivably cause him to have an extra two to three additional employees for the paperwork of what they want to have done under that article. He said they has been toned down a bit, change. He hasn't really seen the changes. He's been told that there's some changes to it. But he could probably see one, one and a half additional personnel in his department if this Warren article in any shape of man that ever got, uh, ever, ever ever passed. So as far as he's concerned, I would agree with him. This is a money article. It's a financial uh, warrant article and not one that is not the purview of the Finance uh, Committee. Well, that's one of the articles I believe we've got for the manager to talk about so the committee could decide after hearing that whether they want to take a recommendation or not. Uh, uh, there, so uh, meanwhile on inspections, is that in, uh, I'm sorry, to, uh, are you finished? No, okay. Okay, Tom? Did he give you some type of estimate? For what? What it would, might cost? Well he, saw, well, he said it could be involved in another inspector because uh, if he's going to have to uh, walk around and talk to everybody and, and dictate, then he can't be able to do an inspections like he's doing now. So there's an inspector's salary. You probably need someone to take notes, type, uh, you know, that kind of a situation. So if you look at it, there was maybe uh, one inspector and one personnel, uh, you know, non-professional, non a secretary or what do you want to, administrative assistant, if you want to uh, call them. So there is money involved. Yeah. Uh, obviously, he's not in favor of this article. And I don't blame them, obviously. Uh, but it is definitely money-oriented. 
Now, my understanding was that it was only, it, it was to issue a report on articles, on uh, permits that were turned down. So when they get appealed? Not if you read that. This is just the, the turned down. It's like almost on everything. It's on everything. It's on everything. Across the board. Everything. You walk in and ask him his uh, name and address, you got to have it all on the records. All, all applications. All applications, which is absurd. <laughs> well, does he, does he keep a journal? You know, I mean, yeah. somebody comes in and there must be a journal. Well, there's, all, there's all records there because you apply for a, a permit. No, it's all, it's, it's all on the computer. Yeah. Everything is uh, computerized. But from this article, from what he gathers, you know, someone comes in, you got to take notes, and then you got to pass these notes on to the redevelopment, zoning, because everybody's going to know what's going on. You have to have a copy of everything. It's it, it just mind boggling. It's, it's, it's time consuming. And that's why he figures that he'd need another inspector if he had to waste his time doing that, maybe someone else in the office. It's very hard to digest what's the purpose of it. It's not a problem now, so I can't get a good question. I, mean, I don't know I know what kind of problem this article is trying to solve, if there is a problem. OK, are there any other questions on the inspection on budget? Okay, are oh, you recommending as printed? As printed, 419362. 262. I'm sorry, 262. Okay. Second? Second. Any other questions or discussion? Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? 3915. I'd like to bring up now that we've done this budget because I noticed in this budget, the other two budgets we did, and in fact a whole bunch of the budgets, the managers of each department has gotten a $2,000 raise. And it's something that I'll want to bring up with the, the town manager when he comes in on Wednesday. But if you look at human services and DPW, fire and police, um, redevelopment board. All the managers have a, an extra two thousand dollars this year. It's listed as a step, which is kind of funny because I didn't think managers got steps. If they're between a midpoint and a max, it's the manager's discretion to give a raise. And I hadn't caught that because I hadn't looked at all of them. So that's an interesting catch, and that would be worth asking him about. I, I, so if, if you're from like. The bottom to the midpoint. Right. I think you do get steps. You do get steps. You have to follow the steps. It's the only way you can get a raise. But it's very easy to get to that midpoint and even to the max fairly quickly. It's it's when you're from that midpoint on that you are that the manager is, has the discretion to give you an additional raise. Um, so no. the question could be how do we approach all the department heads? salaries this year and determine this amount. Because then, then the further question I have is, and I mean, in, in the past, yeah, would be under after they budget, have negotiated the union yeah. contracts and come up with whatever sort of the, the common percentage is among all the union contracts, they've given that percentage raise to the managers? Or was that only that they've given that raise no, to the um, yeah. elected Treasurer clerk. Well, the the, uh, the treasurer collector we have in the uh, the treasurer collector and the clerk we have in the collective bargaining article. Uh, they've always gotten what the employees got. I don't know if we use 680. Or, I don't even know if it's 680 anymore. But uh, uh, that. But um, I'll tell them you're going to ask. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. So fire. Library is done. I just want to see if we gave the librarian a raise. Well, they're changing, so that may not, it may not be there. Okay, human service administration is done. Veterans is done. Council on aging, done. Retirement is done. 
Okay, insurance. Insurance, we are meeting with uh, Carol Code Malloy uh, next Monday, this coming Monday at 7.30 in the morning. Okay. We'll put us out maybe later that week or the week after. Okay, so uh, insurance, either the 18th or the 25th. Yes. 25th at the latest. Okay. Okay. Reserve fund? Can I do that? It's interesting, there's no actuals there. Means you spent the whole thing. Or, oh, the well, department, but or the department failed so to we report it. <laughs> we would have spent the whole thing and transferred it to the department. That's right. You know, they should. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Uh, we moved a million dollars. You have a second? Second. Yeah. Okay, moved and seconded. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to spend it all, but uh, we're, we're pretty darn close. Uh, any questions? Discussion? Okay, moved and seconded for a million dollars. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Water sewer. Uh, 325? Uh, either then or I had it marked here. I haven't heard back from him yet. So. Um, either the 18th or the 25th. But we'll see how it works. Okay. We will have time to set a master plan, right? On the 18th. Okay, so uh, 18th through the 25th. Tell your chairman is giving you a hard time. <laughs> Did <it> already. <laughs> Recreation is done. It's only 25 of 9. <laughs> okay, so I think we're in good shape. Uh, so, <coughs> on Wednesday, you know, save up all your questions for the manager. And as we go through each article, I just want to, you know, if we want to discuss it a lot, I'll put it off. If, if people have made up their minds, we'll just go ahead and vote it and go on from there. Uh, so that's Wednesday the 11th. The 16th is the Capital Planning Committee. Uh, so that usually takes a good chunk of the, uh, of the evening. The 18th, uh, if you want to, we'll discuss the master plan. And then uh, hopefully the treasurer collector, the assessors, the insurance, and the water and sewer for the 18th. The 23rd is the school committee. That pretty much is an all-nighter. Uh, You've got the budgets. Save up your good questions. I know they are looking forward to it. And then the uh, 25th, we'll finish it. So again, no Saturday meeting. Uh, I'll save the 18th, but by you know early next week, I, I think we'll see. It looks like we're in pretty good shape. Any other business for the for the uh, committee? Meeting adjourned.